Hello, this problem is to reverse a sublist in a singly linked list. First, let's take a look at the problem definition. We have a linked list L and two integers S and F. You're going to write a program to reverse the order of the nodes from the S node to the F node. The numbering begins at 1. In other words, the head node is the first node. We are now allowed to allocate space for this problem, which means we have to do the reordering in place. For example, for a given linked list L, S equals 2 and F equals 5. The sublist in this problem would be 7, 2, 4, and 18. We need to return a linked list of L with a reversed order of the sublist 18, 4, 2, and 7. This is a typical linked list problem, and it requires you to have the basic skills to swap nodes in a linked list. We may easily come up with a simple solution to this problem. We first iterate through the list to get the sublist as a separate list. Then we reverse it and put the reverse list back into the original list. It is definitely a viable solution. By analyzing the time complexity, since we have to iterate through the list twice, the time complexity is about O of 2 times n, where n is the length of the original list. Can we do better? Yes. We can solve the problem by only iterating the list once, with a time complexity of O of n. Here is the code of this solution. In this program, we need a dummy node because there is a possibility that the head node will get changed. When s equals 1, this means that the sublist starts from the head node. In this case, the original head node of the list after the reversal will get lost. But we need to return the head node of the list. That's why we need a dummy node in the program. In preparation, we first create a dummy node and make it point to the head node of the list. We also define another pointer, called current, which points to the dummy node in the beginning. Next, we will need to find the head of the sublist. Since we know the number of the head node of the sublist, as the code shown on the lower right of this slide, we can iterate from the head node through the list until we get to the node just before the head node of the sublist. Please remember, in this step, we do not go to the head node, but to the node just before it. For example, in this problem, the head node of the sublist is the second node 7. In this step, we move the iterator pointer to the first node 6 and then stop. We define another pointer called prev, which points to the cur node and move the cur node to the next node. The prev and cur are the two pointers we used in the problem. This so-called two-pointer technique is a very common and powerful technique to solve the linked list related problem. Remember, we will see this method a lot in later linked list problems. In this problem, the prev pointer stays still at node 6. The cur will gradually move to the end of the sublist until the sublist is reversed. This step is critical. Remember the goal of the pro this problem is to reverse the order of the sublist 7, 2, 4, and 18. In the first step, we can reach the goal by swapping the first two nodes, 7 and 2. As indicated in the slide, we can achieve the first step by moving the node 2 to just behind the prev node 7, to make it as a temporary head node of the sublist. Next, when the cur node moves to the next nodes, we can do the same logic by moving the node up to the head of the sublist. If we keep doing this, we will get the reversed sublist. This swap is a little tricky here. If it is an array, swapping two numbers will be super easy. But in a linked list, we need to be careful. Otherwise, if we mistakenly broke a link and the node became isolated from the rest of the nodes, it would automatically be recycled by the garbage collector and we would have a data loss issue. The code at the lower right corner of this slide is the core algorithm of this problem. Please take a careful look at it and try to fully understand it. We will need to define another node called temp, which points to the next node after cur. In the next step, we will let the cur node point to the next node of temp, as indicated on the slide. Next step, we will let temp node point to the next node of pref. Next, we point the prev node to the temp node. 
Now the swap is done. It is not that hard, right? If we take a more careful look at the linked list now, the order of the nodes 7 and 2 are swapped, but the order of the rest of the nodes of the list stay the same. The sublist now became 2, 7, 4, and 18. The order of the four steps of the swap is very important. They are also very easy to remember. Now the list looks like this. The first two nodes of the sublist were swapped. Now the cur node points to 7. What we need to do now is move the node 4 up to the head of the sublist, which is right behind the prev node. We do the same swap technique to the list again. We first define a temp node as the next node of the cur node and do the swap as the code shows. After the swap, the sublist becomes 4, 2, 7, and 18. Now the cur node is node 7. We need to move the next node, 18, to the head of the sublist. After the swap, now the sublist looks like this, 18, 4, 2, and 7. At this time, since the cur pointer has already moved to the end of the sublist, we have successfully reversed the list. Now that we know the head of the new list is the next node of the dummy node, we don't have to figure which node is now the head node of the new list, but return dummy node dot next. Since we have to iterate through the list till the f node, the time complexity of the problem is O of f. If you found this video helpful, BitTiger Pro has a comprehensive series of videos covering all the skills you need for the coding interview. We explain the latest technical interview problems used by top companies like Google, Facebook, and Microsoft. Subscribe to BitTiger Pro and get access today. Thank you for watching.